guys up here just might want to just be aware. I've got everything cleaned off. We shouldn't be throwing any debris around, but just be prepared. All right, everybody ready? All right, we're going to set the system now. All right, in five, four, three, two, one. All right, so as you can see, it sounded like nothing more than a shotgun shell. And the smoke that's coming out of here is not actually smoke, it's talcum powder. And what it does is it keeps that airbag in there free of moisture so it doesn't rot, doesn't get mildew, doesn't stick together. Because realistically, this car could go 20 years not be in an accident. And then when it gets into an accident, it has to be ready at the ready for this bag to deploy properly. So it could be in there for a while. That's why it runs the talcum powder. Hey, Jack, if you run around to the other side, you'll find two wires underneath should be stripped back, cut, ready to go. The system's been bypassed. All I gotta do is just set right to those uh, right to those two wires. They should be right at the right at level there somewhere. Oh, yeah, there you go. No, doesn't matter. System's system's down. No power? No power, it's off. Boom. Oh. <laughs> All right. Now the passenger side airbag operate, operates a little differently. You see the driver's side only came out and inflated about 10 inches. The passenger side actually comes up, hits the windshield, and then comes towards the passenger. So this, this one deploys a little differently. All right, system's hot. You guys ready? All right, five, four, three, two, one. So that's the, that's the 20. We want to stay 20 inches away from the dashboard. We don't want to get inside any of these strike zones of these airbags. And again, this is not smoke. It's nothing more than talcum powder. Okay, the bag releases and de it deploys and it deflates as quick as it uh, inflates. It does that for a reason. All right, once these things deflate, you'll find that um, people that are in the car that might have like uh, respiratory problems like asthma or something like that, they're going to claim they can't breathe. This does not harm them. It doesn't hurt them. But you get them out to fresh air and, and it'll solve all the problems because all it is is just talcum powder. The stuff that's used to deploy this is nothing, it's, it's basically rocket fuel, it's sodium azide is what's used to fire off and deploy this out that quick. So this is what you're dealing with with airbags. Um, you know what, use the 51020 rule, really you guys will be safe in the future and just always be aware of these things.